first class up in the sky. Up in, up in the sky. What? Hi, West High Athletics. I am Hunter Garvin, and these are my 10 essentials. Whoa, 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 whoa. Two different levels, I can never relate. Mm -hmm. You never win if you play in this, eh? Mm -hmm. All right, here we go. Okay, the first item is my Bible here. The Word, God, Jesus, the Bible is the core to my life, and uh, it's, it's number one. My second essential is uh, my family and friends. They're a huge support to my life. All that I really am, my boys always got my back, and uh, I'm very, very grateful to have them in my life, and they're a really huge essential for me. All right, uh, my third essential is uh, wrestling, and um, here are my wrestling shoes. This is what I wore this season. They're pretty beat. These shirts, Big Game Wrestling Club, the club that I go to, my high school, high school, obviously, Iowa City West High. Uh, this is our state shirt this year. Wrestling has changed my life, along with my coaches and mentors. Uh, them and the sport itself has helped shape the person who I am. Uh, I'd say without wrestling, I, defi I definitely would not be the person who I am today. I started wrestling when I was like five in kindergarten. My dad was like, yo, let's go do this deal. And I was like, I don't know, okay, <laughs> I'm a kid. I don't know what to do, I'll just say yeah. And uh, so I've been doing it for about 13, going on 14 years, I wouldn't change anything for the world. I mean, sometimes it's, it's, it's a grind. Uh, it's not the most fun sport every day. A wise man told me that love something so much that you hate it. My fourth essential is music. Um, these are my headphones. I've worn these a lot of wrestling tournaments, a lot of wrestling meets. The type of music that I love listening to is EDM. Like, and that's like when we're in here, uh, when we're during the season at our wrestling club, uh, we listen to a lot of EDM and that stuff's pretty hype and gets us pumped up and keeps us going. My fifth essential is school. Got my backpack here. I'm very grateful for school and it's a huge factor in my life. I'll be going to, to Stanford for the next four years and I'm really excited for that school and uh, all that it has to offer. Me and my mom were going on a, a visit just for fun and whatnot and uh, when I got there, I mean, I loved it. I told my mom, I was like, hey, I got a pretty great feeling about this uh, as we walked out of the airport. It's so beautiful out there. The, the weather is amazing. I mean, they have really, really great educational programs. The wrestling program, which actually got shut down and was brought, up, brought back up by the coach who uh, uh, recruited me, is really, really getting, getting a lot better. And uh, the coaches are awesome. I love the coaches, love the, love the guys on the team. I love everything about it, man. It's, it's, it's so cool. It's everything I kind of dreamed about in college I didn't know I would ever find. All right, my sixth essential is my past. Uh, both my successes and my failures. This is my freshman uh, state medal. I got second. It was uh, not fun when that happened. Uh, in the moment, I just want to, you know, shove my head in the ground and never never come out and stuff like that. But um, in, in the long run, I'm, I'm extremely grateful for this medal. I'm extremely grateful that I did get beat in the finals that year. I mean, it definitely kind of was a, um, an alarm going off in my head to just change, change something, change whatever was going on there. Instead of being the kid that got second in the finals, I ended up achieving more, more bigger goals in the summer and then the next three years of my high school season. So I've always said to myself, like, never again do I want to ever feel that feeling of getting second or being the next best thing, not just in wrestling, but in life as well. All right, my seventh essential is competition. This is a tennis racket that I would never think that I would use. For, I've never done a sport besides wrestling, and so we went out, me and my buddy, who are very, very competitive, um, went out for tennis just to try it out. And uh, at first it was like, oh, whatever, but like now we're getting more into it, and like we play each other all the time. And, uh, but competitiveness uh, runs in my family as well. Uh, with just playing card games, playing board games, video games, uh, any sort of sport, and uh, it's definitely, definitely an essential in my life. Uh, my ninth essential is comedy and like jokes and stuff like that. It's always fun to have like an icebreaker just of like a joke or just some some random uh, slapstick comedy or something, just some something to make people laugh and uh, just ease the moment and make life easier for some people. All right, my last but not least essential is food and water. Kind of need that to survive. Uh, without it, I'd most likely be dead. My majority of high school, uh, I have always had a home lunch, really. During the wrestling season, especially home lunches, um, but uh, every, once, every once in a while I eat school lunch because it's pretty great sometimes. Thursday, orange chicken days here are pretty bomb. Um, so this is my lunch for today. Thermos full of eggs and some, usually they're steak. We have 
pr a couple of granola bars, pr a protein bar, some Cheez-Its, some blueberries and blackberries, some oranges, and that's it. It gets us through the day. I'd say the top school lunches are between orange chicken, pizza crunchers, and like, a lot of people are gonna hate on this, but there's like that flatbread or that like cheesy flatbread stuff. That stuff's pretty awesome. And um, yeah. Hi, I'm Hunter Garvin, and my 